Hi, in this tutorial video, I will show you the techniques to create a millionaire game module in Putra Blast 3.8. First, click Turn Editing On. Next, click on Add an Activity or Resource. Next, select Game Millionaire. This game will require you to have ready multiple choice questions. The total number of questions required is 15. Click Add. First, name the game. Here, I'll name it Millionaire on Capital Cities. Next, write the description for the game. Click here if you want to display the description on a course page. Next, select the source of the questions. For this example, I have created questions. And I have named the questions under the category of millionaire. Here, as you can see, I have created 15 questions. Enter the number of attempts for the students. Next. Go to the Millionaire Options. As you can see here, it is a very simple menu. Determine whether you want the randomized questions or not. I'll click Yes. Now the basic setup has been completed. If you want to track student activity, then you must set up activity completion. Then. You need also to set up competencies. If you do not want to track student activity and competencies, then go to save and return to the course. Great! As you can see, the Millionaire on Capital Cities game module has been created. Let's click here to see what you have created. Attempt game now. This is the interface of the Millionaire game module. Here, this section is for the questions. This section is for the selection of answers. This section is to show you the 15 challenges that you are going to face and the prize money on the right hand side. On the top here is the Help and Assist menu. Just like the game Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, each student will have three chance to ask for help. The first is the 50-50 choice. The second is using the telephone and third is asking the audience. So let's try. The first question. Alright, that's correct. Now the quest second question, I am not sure, so I will use the 50-50 chance. What happens when I click this is that there will be left with only two choices. So I'll select E. Okay. The next question is tough, so I will ask from telephone. So this is the box that the person that we contacted has said the answer correct should be Hanoi. So let's click Hanoi. That's correct. The next question is also tough. So I will ask the audience. So according to the audience, here as you can see, 73% indicated the answer is E, London. So I'll click London. Correct. So now I do not have any more chances. I will have to answer the rest of the questions myself. So let's see.
So, if you get any wrong answers, the game will end. When you finish the game, click quit. Here, you will have the opportunity to start a new game or end the game. So here, I will click end the game. You can always go back to the Millionaire Game module to check the marks that you get. I hope this tutorial video is insightful and helpful enough for you to create your own Millionaire Game module for your students. So get started and bye bye.